Hey mama, how are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you the 5 minutes thigh stasis recti exercise that you need to do every single day. No matter how far along you're in your postpartum journey or you just found out you have thigh stasis recti, this is the first starting exercise that you need to do. And what it is? It's breathing. And before you exit me, ah, 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 hear me out on this one. Because um, with my postpartum journey, I have no idea, right? I have like, I say this I did all kind of crazy stuff. The last thing I knew, it was the breathing that I wasn't doing it correctly. And if somebody had told me, told me that I need to breathe correctly from the beginning, I could have gotten so much better results, right? So I wanted to show you and really demonstrate you how important this is because when you're not breathing correctly when your diaphragm is not pushing correctly when your rib cage is not uh, responding the way it should and and your pelvic floor then everything is going to screw up in your body i'm not trying to scare you but it is so important to have a good breath some people say it's the connection breath some people say it's the uh, you know their branded name breath it's but it's all the same thing so make sure you do this every single day it takes five minutes to do the breathing i'm going to show you exactly how so you know what i'm talking about but don't forget to do this okay so i have a chair in the back I'm gonna sit there uh, in this video I'm going to show you um, doing it sitting on the on the chair but you can do it sitting up standing up I have another video here and then you can also do this lying on the floor if you really feel like your posture is really out of shape and you can control it then lying down is probably a good idea to do the breathing prop yourself with some pillows if you need to but I'm gonna show you demonstrate to you while I'm sitting the first thing you wanted to look at is how your uh, how your rib cage, your core, and your pelvic pelvis is stacking. Are they stacking in one straight line like this, or are you? Uh, is it like this? Huh? Is it like a curve like this, or are you sitting like this? <laughs> so make sure it is stacking nicely. Your pel your rib cage is supposed to stack above your your uh, pelvis. Imagining this is like a can of beans. If your can is bent, then it's gonna then your then your beans is gonna go spoil. It's no good anymore. You can't eat beans anymore. So, so make sure it's stacking nicely. That's number one that you need to look at. The second thing is taking that good inhale and exhale. So, take it, when you're taking an inhale, and inhale and exhale are equally important. So let's start with inhaling, and when you're inhaling. I want you to put your um, palm here and then another one on the belly here. So I'm just, I don't want to take a deep breath for me. Don't worry about the exhale right now. So can you feel that your chest is rising up? Can you also feel your belly is rising up? Are they uh, rising up at a, about the equal rate or this is rising up a lot more or the, just the belly is rising. Let me know and it's really important for you to know this. So what, what you wanted to do is to have both part rising up at the same time. Now let's put your, your hands across your rib cage to your back like this and then this, this one can just do whatever but I don't want to block it so that's why I'm putting it here so take a deep breath again so do you feel that your rib cage is also expanding not just the side but also the back that's why I want you to put it, your palm where the side is and you can feel your fingers on the back of your rib cage let's do it one more time with me Okay, so if you're able to feel that your rib cage is expanding, that's perfect. So you, what you wanted to do is you want your chest, your belly, your back, your, your side, your back are all expanding at the same time when you're inhaling. And at the same time, you're stacking your rib cage to your pelvis in one straight line. So let's do an inhale together for me. Take a big, take a big deep, deep inhale. As, take in as much air as you can. Don't worry about the exhale right now. Just take, take, just practice with the inhale. I really want you to feel that you are taking inhale all around your upper body. Okay, 
So now let's talk about the exhalation. So exhalation, when we are sitting on the floor, I want you to do either two cues, uh, a couple cues for you and when you are doing the exhalation. The first one, you can choose whether you want to do a she sound, shh, or a ha sound. Okay, you can pick either of the two, it doesn't matter which one. And then as you're high, then imagining you're pulling a marble up, and or uh, stopping the flow of your urine, gently pulling your pelvic floor upward as you are high. And ha as much as you can, ha until your lung is out of air. You have no air in your lungs anymore. <laughs> like you, you can like kind of think you, you, you have to cough. So, so let's do, take a deep inhale. anymore. Very often you might have a rib flares because of having a baby. Your 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 baby is pushing against the stomach, against your diaphragm and your um, your lungs has nowhere to go and your rib cage has to rip, uh, has to flare out a little bit to accommodate the baby. So it's common that you could have a rib flares by doing the ha breathing or she breathing. You pressing your rib cage against your lungs as much as you can so to take that residual airs out also at the same time your rib cage is flattened so we are bring that rib cage together so it's not flaring out and also at the same time when you're pulling that uh, pelvic floor up you are trying to uh, um, you're trying to engage the transversus abdominal muscles down here and we really wanted to focus on that. If you have an upper uh, diastasis recti opening and or lower diastasis, di uh, diastasis recti opening, this this two this breathing method will tackle both sides together. Because when you are high and you're closing the rib cage, you're going to close that upper uh, di diastasis recti opening here. And when you're lifting the pelvic floor up, you are trying to close that lower lower diastasis recti belly here or the middle here. So that's why it's so important for you to do that. So now let's do it together. I'm gonna do three breaths with you together. Do it along with me. Let's inhale. third time. Whew, okay, do you feel that? It's, um, so in the beginning, you might not be able to take as much air into, into your lung and that is very normal as when you are, uh, haven't been exercising for a long time and haven't exercised at all, your lung is not being not able to take that much air in when you inhale. So you might have a really short inhale um, compared to what I did. So that's okay, but work your way up, take in as much breath as, uh, take in as much uh, air as you can, relax yourself before you start your exercise and then, uh, and then focus on the breath going all around 360 degree and then uh, exhale with the intention of trying to press everything into your body. Okay, I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know and I would love to chat with you. Bye-bye.